any investigation starts with an examination of the body. But this is 400 years after the incident. And you're telling me that you can read clues from these old bones? Of course we can. We can learn a lot from a skeleton. We can learn age, ancestry, sex. We can estimate stature. We can talk about cause of death. And we can also tell how much money this individual had. How much money he had? Yes. We can talk about social status. So this is a, a resin replica of the skeleton in situ. Yes, it is. And it's very exact. So we can use it to talk about the things we can learn from the skeleton. All right. Sex. How do you find that? Well, one of the best places to look is the skull on this individual. And we can see that this is a fairly robust skull. Men are bigger than women. Mm -hmm. He has some brow ridge development. He has muscle attachments, as well as a very big jaw. Square chin. This is what you're looking at right here? Yes, and a very squared off back of the jaw. Don't women have square chins? No, as you can see here, I have a fairly relaxed angle on the back of my jaw, while you have a fairly squared off angle. So and that's fairly typical of the difference between men and women. So you're sure he was a he? Yes, we are. And this is backed up by the evidence from the pelvis. And the pelvis is actually the best place to determine sex from a skeleton because women have to give birth to children, and men don't. Women have large pelvic girdles that are broad, while men tend to have narrower pelvic girdles. And one of the indicators that this was a narrow pelvic girdle is the fact that we have these narrow sciatic notches here. So he's definitely male. So you said you could tell how old he was. How do you do that? Well, this is an individual who hasn't finished growing. As you can see here at the top of the tibia, which is the shin bone, we have an open growth plate. It hasn't fused or finished growing. So this is an individual that we can pretty accurately age to 17 to 19 years. And how much money he had? He didn't have a wallet on him. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> but he was a fairly healthy individual as a child. And that's generally a good indicator of social status for this time period. If we look at this anatomical specimen here, you can see that there are linear grooves in the enamel of these teeth. Those striations? Yeah. And can you feel them? I can. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's where the enamel stopped growing due to stress in this person's life. Severe malnutrition and infectious disease that had a high fever associated with it. Those are things that happen during childhood. And as you can feel on 102C's teeth, you don't feel those striations, those grooves. And this means that he had a fairly healthy childhood. Which meant that he had some money. He came from a, a high family standing. Yes, exactly. Now what about the wound itself? Well, this is a particularly nasty wound. Uh, we have a lot of fracturing, fracturing at the top of the tibia here, just below the knee, and it's completely broken away from the lower part of the shaft. This is the femur, the patella, and the tibia, and here we have the fibula, which normally is on the outside of the tibia. But because of the way this wound has totally fractured the tibia, it's actually rolled outside the... And, and all that damage was just from one ball? Actually, not just from the one ball. As you can see on this x-ray, there's the ball right here. And we also have 21 pieces of shot that were also part of the um, load. So why would they load a musket with all of that material? Well, this is uh, a load of shot that would have caused maximum damage to an individual. And as you can see, it actually has a five and a half inch diameter to its spread. So it had spread out five and a half inches when it hit this guy's knee. That's right. And the shot was designed to hurt people. And it must have really hurt. It must have. And actually, you have a major artery that runs behind the knee. And the fracturing that occurs here would have ruptured that artery, most likely. And this individual would have bled out in a matter of minutes. So it was a quick and painful death. It was. It was a horrible way to die. And he was so young. He was, unfortunately, a very young man.